All right, everyone, welcome to this uh, displacement with touch designer tutorial. Um, today, we're going to be looking to a simple technique to display an, Im an image like you see with the touch designer logo. So as per usual, let's just jump on my Instagram page. My name is uh, Smooth as Pass. You can follow me if you wish uh, on uh, the Instagram. And um, we're going to be reproducing this effect today. So quite literally. Um, this one so I've got a couple questions people asking me is this made in a uh, GLSL and no it's not it's straight um, out of Tajaner with only tops and no lines of code so um, let's go into touch designer open up a new session and we're gonna get started right away okay so once again this is our end goal uh, let's boot up a fresh container and jump into it okay so uh, I've prepared myself a couple of assets color assets um, you guys go ahead you can do the exact same thing or something totally different anyhow uh, if you can just send it to me when you're done so I can like it share it and the whole shenanigan that's uh, that's my jam okay so um, we've got those colors and now we want to put it in a kind of uh, pattern fashion so let's pull out uh, the layout top okay so I'm gonna plug all those uh, those five colors, okay? Because uh, this one's gonna be for my background, okay? So you see, right now I have my colors, and uh, this is all in, all good, but that's not exactly how I want it yet. I want it top to bottom like this, great, and I want it to fill the whole thing, okay? Um, right now we still we're two fifty six by two fifty six, so let's um, correct this by adding. A constant chop okay this is where we're going to put all our variables in this one not so much but so uh, I like to call it var and if you've seen another tutorial of mine I like to add a null and call this one var s for variable send and today like this is going to be a quick tutorial I wanted to, sh to explain you uh, the reason of this uh, this way of naming things so first of all let's I'll be calling 280 my my, resu my resolution is gonna be 280 uh, 1280 um, and I'm gonna grab myself one circle okay so the great thing with touch center it's how you can stack different layers um, yeah obviously not 1280 for the radius but for the resolution okay so let's say, um, and this is a fictional example, I'm, I have a geometry or another container up and um, I ha like I'm like i going to store all my variables for my whole project. If it's a very large project, there's going to be a lot of variables in, in here. And I, let's say I have different layers and different uh, stories. So I, this one, uh, the circle is going to be in uh, the container. So you see, I, I have an error here, obviously because he's looking for var s which is not present so uh, what I do is I'm gonna grab a select and I'm gonna name him var s and the chop is gonna refer it's gonna do two points for go one story up and var s and like th this I'm always safe and I always know which um, which chop with a select I need to go get and you see like I can keep going and this time like put a geometry and just like copy this guy have an error just grab this one put it here and it's always fixed and the the var s is always referring to the var s who's uh, one uh, one container higher until it gets to the main one like this okay so that was the idea so let's keep on going with our circle let me just redo this real quick. Okay. And in a resolution 1280. Okay, great. Now um, I want uh, to color my circle. So let's multiply in this way. Yes. And I want my circle to grab most of the colors that are present in my layout. So let's just bump this to 0.5. And now I'm happy with that. Great. So I'm just going to transform it because I want it smaller. Now that I have all my colors, oops, that's a translate. I want to scale it down. Okay, I have a little rotation, so let's 
to like this. Okay. And this is the end of the road for my assets. So let me just call this null asset. So if like I want to change something, I can just plug it in here and I know. And uh, as a little homage to uh, Paquita 12, we'll be putting this a uh, silly color. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much uh, our uh, creation part of the asset. Now we want to displace it. So let's grab the display chub, uh, top. Sorry about that. Okay. So what the display uh, display chub uh, top does, it's going to take your first input and it's going to wrap um, your UV coordinates around your second output. So this is kind of like, um, it's quite it's quite a complex uh, thing to wrap your head around like totally. I'm, I go and I have more an intuitive way of using this display top, but uh, I highly recommend you guys to um, look out, look out the, um, the documentation of Touch Designer. This is one of the great thing about Touch Designer. It's yes, it's a very pow powerful software, but the documentation and the Python documentation is so well done with the wiki. Um, part of being a Touch Designer developer, it's really being able to read through all that documentation. Okay, so uh, here I, I'm seeing something. I have like a little smudge here, so I don't want that. So let's put this at near nearest pixel in the comment tab and nearest pixel here too. And you see now that it's more frank. And here we're at 256 because we want to grab the first input. And you see now, now this is looking good. He, here even though I'll, I'll be at nearest pixel. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so let's grab some noise. And let's plug it in right away. So straight up we see that this is not what we're looking for but we're kind of like jazzing it in some way like this is this is displacing the image but we, we, we're, we're gonna want to parameter this uh, a bit closer so um, the main uh, parameter is a displayed weight so let's put it at zero right now and you see that um, the the output is now the same that the input great so um, I'm not totally sure about that but let's put like uh, the same resolution in the noise. So there's as much information in uh, both of the, the assets. Okay. And let's uh, toggle off monochrome. So we have some colors. Okay. Okay. And let's now we want to create that kind of melting motion. So let's use this, the famous ABS time dot seconds. Okay. This is good. And let's divide it by like this is a bit too fast for me and I want it to go in the other direction so by minus two and maybe even minus five okay and now let's just go back in our display top and just bump the display weight by minus one okay 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 kind of getting there um, okay first of all um, the display source this parameter will move your asset. So I like to put it at zero like this. I'm sure it doesn't move and I'm fine with this. And I want, I don't want to display it, but that's personal um, left and right. So on the Y on um, the X axis, let's put this at zero. And now it's just displacing on the Y axis, which is what I want. And I know because I took a note that I want at 0 0.3. Beautiful. Okay. We're already very close to what we're trying to do. And um, let's connect the null. Okay, and let's call it BG for background. And let's bring that guy a little further down and have it like this. And um, a little trick, uh, you can like toggle active here and middle mouse to unzoom. And sometimes I like it just like, not my full page, but just a bit smaller like this. So this, w this works good for me. And uh, I'll just, uh, okay. And actually, I think I'll keep it like for now. I just wanted to sh show you that little trick. Okay. Um, so right now my noise is displacing everything, right? And what's displacing is the, uh, the values of the pixel. So um, if the pack pixel is, uh, the pixel value is greater than zero, it's gonna have an effect 
on our, on, on our image. So let's find a way to, to hide this. So I'm going to use a ramp. Okay. And um, I'm going to multiply the ramp by our noise. Okay. And I want this to be vertical. Uh, right now, see, I'm going from black to white. I, I, I want the opposite. So you can flip it or you can just do it here. And that's what I'm doing. Just this way. And this is good. And I'm adding a new um, little thingy here. Uh, let's put it to black and let's crank it up. Oh, I lost it. Control V. Oh, yeah, you can't control Z on those things. Okay. And let's bring him, let's bring him down. And look at this. It's almost done. Okay, so this is a little big right now for me. Yeah, that's why that's how I want it. Okay, so um, there's a couple of things we're going to get to uh, right now. Something you can see is the displacement is not very nice. And like I see a lot of like um, little um, stairs or edges and that's not what I want. And that is because I want more infos in each of the pixels. So let's put ourselves in 32, blit, 32 bits float RGB. So this is good. And let's bring this guy to, well, actually just the transform here. Okay, so maybe you don't see it, but it actually makes a nice difference. And I'm gonna add a blur here, just to smooth all, all the pixels, even if the ramp, you could do it with the ramp, but I just wanna have it like the slickiest possible. So. Wow, that is mainly it. So what you can do next is uh, maybe take a composite. Okay. And uh, take a transform, let's say, if you wanted to like really uh, narrow your field of uh, displacement. So take a transform or just use another, uh, another ramp. Uh, let's rotate this. Okay. And let's kind of like maybe scale it by this way. And my, um, you can have it in multiply, but I want it in um, darker color. Okay, this is good. And you see right now, I, I'm just like playing it, playing with it around and see, so th this is looking really fun. And if I go in the noise, I can change things too. So if I want something that is more like, um, this is more blobby, if I want, uh, see here there's a lot more information so it's gonna have less of this this effect we're looking to, into so you know what i kind of like this maybe a little more yeah yeah i like that good hmm. do i like it i don't know so this is good and uh you could augment the brightness but i'll do it with a mask and just multiply a bit yes Okay, so this is getting good. What what else could we do? We can add maybe some noise on the noise with a chop. Okay. And let's uh, time slice it. Okay, and this is fast. So let's bring down um, our period. Uh, bring up, sorry about that. Okay, and let's take this. And in the XY. And maybe now we can add a bit of displacement weight on the x-axis. Mm, not sure. Yep, I don't like it, but whatever. I don't really like that noise either. Maybe I'll just crank it up like super slow. So, yeah. Good. So this is looking pretty good. Uh, next, what can, what can we do? Oh, what have I done? Let's, uh, for fun, add an edge, okay? And comp over input. Now we have this, you can like, you like it or you don't lo like it, whatever. And as I always do, I'm gonna add a little um, frame around it. So I have in my component a little um, tux that I've made for myself, because I'm always doing the same framing and I can just add it this way, up, okay? And um, I want my background, so this let's put it in a with an over. OK, 
okay and I don't want too much uh, wiring so I'll take a select and go get the background I preserved earlier plug it in here okay there is this is pretty good and then just oh this like that and there we have it okay so I feel like this was super simple super easy but you know what sometimes simple and easy is like the best way to go so uh, if you like um, this tutorial please uh, like comment and share and uh, if you uh, if you like you can also like I was saying follow me on Instagram at smooth is fast and please send me those renders um, I want to share them and like them and follow you guys so uh, so we can have more of these and if you ever want an, a tutorial just go on my page and ask for it in a comment and it'll be my pleasure to do it for you all right so this was displacement with a touch designer i hope you like it and see you next time